Sandra here from createyourfuture.co. So today we have Travis joining us. Hi, Travis. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fine. So me and Travis were talking and he's got an amazing story to share with you guys. He's got a story where he actually changed around a relationship with his specific person that nearly ended. It is really, really cool how he shifted this and he did it so quickly. So yeah, Travis, share our, your success story with us. Well, I'll start to where I, uh, where the relationship began. Um, I was looking for somebody. And so I just created a list of 24 things that I was looking in a partner. And a week later, she came about. And uh, when you want to say everybody is you pushed out, she was and is everything. She's me. Uh, every quality, uh, you know, from little things to she puts $10 of gas in her car at a time. I do the same thing. Um, it's just mind boggling how similar we are. Now, move a little longer or move along a little, little further into a, a I'd say like three or four months of being together, the old man started coming through. I would have the thoughts of, do I really want this? Is this going to work out? Is she going to leave me? Um, and that, that went on for about three or four days. And I didn't know better at the time. So I was battling it. I was fighting them. I was trying to suppress that, those thoughts from coming about. And after the fourth day, uh, we're sitting around, having a good time, laughing, talking. And mind you, we've never fought. We never argued. We never disagreed on anything. But out of the blue that night, she tells me that she doesn't, she doesn't think that she wants to be with me anymore. Um, she does, it doesn't feel right. Now, I was the kind of person where I'm a logical thinker. I like to get to the bottom of things. So I was, I was sitting there for about 10 minutes asking her uh, questions, trying to figure out what went wrong because everything was fine. And after about 10 minutes of this, I, the thought came to my mind where I remembered those negative thoughts coming about previously. And then I also came to, to the realization that she is me pushed out. So I'm basically arguing with myself, or not arguing because we weren't arguing, but I'm talking to myself. So I ended the conversation and what I ended up doing was I went to bed. I had to work the next morning. It was already late. So I went to bed, laid down and I thought to myself, what should I do since everyone is me pushed out since I'm the one creating and it hit me. Don't accept what happened. Rewrite that story. So I'm, while I'm laying in bed, I told myself, I don't accept this. This is how I was but this is how I want it to be. I'm gonna wake up the next morning, everything's gonna be fine, we're gonna be in love, and we're gonna move on like nothing happened. I went to bed, I woke up about six hours later for work. She was sleeping, so I gave her a kiss on the forehead before I went to work, and she woke up. And the first thing she told me is, I love you. And that was it. Now, we didn't discuss that conversation the night before, it's like it never happened. That's what belief is. You, you know how this law works. If you apply the law the correct way, it's going to come about. In this instance, it took me six hours for it to come about. Um, and I'm grateful for that because the old me, I would have been up all night talking to her, trying to figure out what's going on and probably got, no, got, got nowhere with that situation. But the new me understood I was talking to myself. I knew what I needed to do. So I went to bed knowing the next morning or the next day, you know, things would be smoothed out. It, and it was. It's like it never, ever happened. You, you know what? The, exactly. I love this story because, you know, that conversation that you had with yourself in your head about everything's going to be fine. This wasn't a big deal. She's going to love me. She actually turned and... Um, and she's actually, at that moment, she was having that same conversation in her head. Like, okay, you know what? I didn't mean it. It wasn't a big deal because she's, you pushed out, right. you know, it's crazy. It's those mental conversations that we have with people in our head. They hear them too. 
you know, one day I was sitting here and before I got my, my PlayStation 4 and I was sitting in my office and I was going to be researching different PlayStations and what and I was sitting here, I was like, do they have four or five? I couldn't remember. Then all of a sudden, Andrew had no idea what I was doing. He was in the, the kitchen and he was like, I think PlayStation 5 is the latest, like out of the blue. Like, what? Like, <laughs> really? <laughs> he was answering the question I had in my head. So yeah, you know, and, and you brought up a really interesting point, right? You said the old you would have, you know, tried to convince, 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 but that convincing was coming from, she doesn't want to be with me. But you just took it and you said, no, I'm going to change the story in my head and I am going to, um, you know, I'm going to change it and, you know, I'm going to change it inside my head, right? So, right. yeah. I mean, and, and another thing that people don't realize, I get a lot of questions on this, is if you react, is it going to mess it up? And that night I reacted. I, I was talking to her, trying to figure out what's going on, why this is coming about. But then I realized, I'm the one that brought it about. I, I can trace back the thoughts I was having that brought this conversation about. Like I said, that night, everything was fine. We were laughing, having a good time, and just out the blue, she she throws something out there like that. Um, so it's okay for you to react, but you have a choice. You can continue reacting to the situation, or you can pick yourself up, realize what's going on, and change it. And I chose to do it that, that night. I changed the story. I didn't accept what was being told to me as final and I just went to bed the next morning everything was fine yeah exactly yeah you know I mean you know it's I, I react too there's been times where I've reacted it's that how quick can you pull yourself out of it because you know even though you know reacting is only going to create more of the same you know it's okay you know you've got to pull yourself out of it at some point and the quicker that you do it's okay it's not that we ruin it forever when we react it's just the long length of time that we're reacting. We're, those are, that's still creating. The universe doesn't be like, okay, you're reacting. I'm going to stop creating for you. No, it's not the way that works. <laughs> you know, but you know, if you, but it's pulling yourself out of it, getting yourself back together and saying, well, hold on a second here. Oh, that's an amazing story. You know, like that's amazing. You know how it, it's then things shift so quickly like that. Like it was out of the blue. It was like, okay, you know, I manifested everything good. Okay, now let's manifest those questioning thoughts you've been having for the last three or four days. <laughs> it's like, I haven't sent those over yet. Here they come. <laughs> like, you're me pushed out because I was going to hit on that next is things can change quickly. <laughs> you know. It was got it with six hours and it's like, it, it's, it's like it never happened. Yeah. So oh, it, yeah. It take yeah. days or weeks or, or months. It can come quickly. It can come within a matter of hours and a matter of minutes. It's just yeah. as as possible. Yeah, you know, it, it always blows me away how quick things can change when I just take a deep breath and I just stop that negative chatter and, and static in my head and I just clearly focus on an intention and start to really say and create and how I'm going to see, hear, and feel and how the other person is going to see, hear, and feel about the whole entire situation and, you know, and, and how quickly things can be shifted and just with actual taking a moment and putting some focus on it, you know, and just cutting that negative thought pattern and just, you know, talking with yourself and even having that little fight with yourself too, going, no, you know what, oh, you know, maybe a little bit tossing and turning, but, you know, it's, there's been many times I've been sitting on a couch staring at the wall and Andrew's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I'm having a fight with myself. And he's like, okay, I know better than to talk to you when you're doing this. Like, <laughs> I'm just going to walk away now. <laughs> oh, that is Give yourself permission to relax and no matter what, just relax. It, nothing's ruined. It's, it's going to come about. Just relax. Take a deep breath. Smile. Know that what it, what's being presented to you right now is going to change. Just just relax. Yeah, That's exactly. All and if you like it, you can keep it. And if you don't like it, you can change it. You're definitely the observer of your reality. So some takeaways here, right? So a big block and what brought on your situation was questioning. And so everybody take a look, you know, everyone's you pushed out. If you're questioning, they're questioning. So stop questioning in your situation. Start being sure about how you want the person to feel, right? And yeah. the other takeaway is, is don't try to convince anybody. I mean, convincing is coming from they don't want to be with you. So when you verbally do it, so start convincing yourself that they want to be with you and you're going to shift their thoughts and they're going to want to be with you, right? Exactly. 
Yeah, amazing story. So guys, guys, we're still having that promotion. And Travis is available for um, sessions. And he actually does evenings and weekends. So yeah, come check it out. The link is in the description below. He's amazing and so calm. He knows his stuff, definitely. And he's done it himself. So he can definitely help you guys to speed up your manifestations. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing your story with us, Travis. That's amazing. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. And I hope everybody's having a great day. Yes, yes, definitely. And guys, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.